Welcome to this short demo of Sonar SQL. Sonar SQL is a mediation layer that allows you to access MongoDB data through standard uh, SQL. Um, it's not meant to replace the query languages of Mongo. Mongo has great query languages and has aggregation framework. But sometimes you just want to enable access through SQL because some of the organization and tools uh, work well with SQL. So it's a good way to access the data. Sonar SQL is not a translator. It's a true federation layer, uh, which means that not only can you access MongoDB data through SQL, but also you can join between MongoDB data and relational data, meaning you can have uh, one table in Oracle or SQL Server or MySQL or any other relational database and a collection in MongoDB and you can do uh, joins across those uh, tables. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, the way that um, Sonar SQL works is really it is a modified Postgres database so when you want to access the data you really connect to Postgres or this modified Postgres. Uh, so for example I have a table here, if I describe it, it's called flights. And it looks like a relational table. You see there are uh, different columns and, and types, but actually what this is, you see down here, the server is called Sonar Server. What actually happens is that this is a MongoDB collection, and every time that I will uh, query this table, really what happens is a back-to-back -back query to MongoDB occurs. So let me uh, also log in to MongoDB and then I'll show you what this data looks like. Um, so I logged into MongoDB using a uh, visual tool called uh, JSON Studio and you see here I have a flights collection uh, which has uh, 39,000 documents. Uh, each document has um, uh, these these uh, fields and these fields are exactly the columns which are exposed through Sonar SQL and and, and, and these JSON documents are, uh, you know, example data. So, for example, if I do, let, let me do a query at the MongoDB level, and I'll, I'll do something like, I'll query for all of the flights that have a certain uh, uh, value for weather delay, so maybe 153, and there's only one flight that has uh, a weather delay of 153 minutes, and it's a flight from New York to... Uh, Eagle Rock, so you see the origin is uh, New York, the destination is uh, Eagle, California, uh, Colorado, um, and here are some of the data. If I do is, and, and, and this is the query um, that was sent to MongoDB, um, but since I expose it through Sonar SQL, I can also do SQL queries. So I can do something like select star from flights where uh, weather, oops, weather delay equals 153, and I'll get the exact same data. So what, what really is happening is uh, that query gets sent to Sonar SQL. Sonar SQL sees that the table is really a MongoDB collection, and then it issues the right commands to MongoDB. And, and what I can do is I'll do a tail on my uh, log file. So my log file is uh, uh, issuing or, or, or uh, being lo is logging what commands Sonar SQL is sending to MongoDB and the, and the command that really got this last one is, is this. So there, the selection was uh, a weather delay is 153 and the projection is really all the columns that it knows about. Um, and and you and you can do anything through here. You can do something like select count from flights. So if you just want to know how many flights there are in this table, um, yeah, you know outcome thirty nine thousand, which is exactly the the number you have over here. And and what you see is that the translation of this to Mongo was a count command. Um, and Sonar SQL is, is very sophisticated. It's not, it's not going to do stupid things like bring back all the data all the time, which is what a lot of the SQL uh, layers for MongoDB do, um, because you could do that. You can, you can have all the data 
every time I move from Mongo to Postgres, unless Postgres do all of the filtering and the joining, etc., but that would be incredibly inefficient. So instead, the conversion of all of the uh, SQL statements are always very efficient using the best method that MongoDB provides. Um, and some of the things are uh, uh, using finds and some of the things using counts, but a lot of the things use the aggregation framework. And I'll give you an example. Um, suppose that I, you know, I have, uh, you can see in this table, I have an origin city name, right? So, so if I do a, a select, uh, here, here's another uh, nice example. I do a select distinct uh, origin city name from from flights. Right, then it'll give me all the distinct uh, city names, um, and 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 the and the conversion to to Mongo, depending on if it's a sharded database or non-sharded database will either be a distinct or will be a, a certain aggregation pipeline. Uh, but let's look at a more sophisticated example. Suppose that I want to know uh, for each origin city name how many flights there are in this in this table slash collection. I can do select um, origin city name comma count star from flights and then group by group by uh, origin city name, right? So I get what I expect, um, and I'll show you in a second uh, that this is really the right answer. But what you see happened, what what Sonar SQL did, it didn't it didn't uh, just do a select or or a find on the MongoDB collection, bring back all the data, and then uh, did the group by at the Postgres level. What it did was it really converted this to a command of the aggregation with a match. In this case, it's an empty match uh, and a group, and it did a, 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 a count dollar sum one. So it it did everything in a very efficient way, and this is a very key attribute of Sonar SQL. And just to show you kind of the equivalent using uh, JSON Studio, I can pick my flights and uh, uh, do a grouping at the Mongo level. And I want to do on the uh, origin city name and add a count. And if I run the pipeline, what I get here is exactly what I see here. Right? Uh, Jacksonville has 31. Oakland has 111 flights, so you know this is this is the right answer. Um, so, so this is this kind of explains how Sonar SQL works. The 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 other piece of Sonar SQL is the federation layer. So, if I look again, say I look at all the tables I have, um, I have some tables which front end a MongoDB collection. So, flights was one of them. Every time I see Sonar Server, that means it's it's a MongoDB collection, and the other one is test. So, for example, test. If I describe test, test is an even uh, more complex um, collection because it has, you know, a lot of primitive fields. It also has some JSON fields, which means that some of this data is, um, it, you know, may have arrays and sub documents. I'll show you. I'll show you what that collection looks like. Uh, down here, um, and and if I you see there's like uh, you know there's sub documents like user it's pretty pr pretty complex um, pretty complex document structure embedded sub documents arrays documents inside arrays arrays inside documents inside arrays um, and yet, Sonar SQL knows how to front end all of these things and flatten it out into a relational structure, or at least provide access through SQL to this. So, for example, I, I can do something like, you know, select uh, user dot main comma uh, user dot friends count from test. Okay. 
Um, and, and you can see already what's happening, right? User, if you look back, you look back over here, uh, user is actually a subdocument. Um, and it has its own properties, like like the name. These are all documents, by the way, that are taken from Twitter. So it has the name of the user who did that tweet, and it has how many friends that that user who did that tweet has. Um, so I can do select username, comma, user friends count from test, um, and that will be, bring me data from the Mongo database. But if I now do, say I do a describe on the Oracle test uh, database, uh, sorry, table. So this table really lives in a separate Oracle server and is being front-ended by this uh, Postgres layer, this, this uh, federation layer. So if I do select, select star from um, Oracle test, you'll see there are some, uh, you know, th this is just dummy data that I, that I put in for the sake of, of this demo. Um, so now what I can do is I can do a join. I can do, I can take my query that I did before, which was select username and user friends count from test, and instead do from test comma oracle test. Okay, and I need to put in the join condition, which is going to be where uh, user dot friends count equals number. Okay, number is a column in the Oracle table. And I'll add to the select clause, I'll add uh, the name column. Okay, so if I run this, what happens is that it, it does a join between the uh, MongoDB collection and the Oracle table. And it only brings back, of course, rows for which there is a value because this is an in inner join. And these two field, these two columns are coming from the MongoDB collection, whereas this column is coming from the Oracle database. So this is a true federation layer. So this was a very quick demo of uh, Sonar SQL. It does not replace the query language for Mongo. It augments it so that if you use MongoDB but some of your organization is comfortable with SQL, then they have access to the MongoDB data through SQL. Um, it also provides the, the federation layer, as you saw. And this is um, a very exciting product, so uh, hope uh, you can use it. Uh, visit jsonstudio.com or sonarsql.com for more information. Thank you.